In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the newest release by Olive and June called The Poppy. This claims to be a universal nail polish bottle handle, but does it really work? Let's find out. So The Poppy retails for $16 and you can get it on olivejune.com. The description says it makes painting your own nails easier, faster, and better than ever. All you have to do is pop it on to your bottles of nail polish and you're good to go. So looking at the poppy, it's this round, I guess, poppy inspired shape. It's made out of something sort of silicone-y or rubbery. It's very squishy. And in the bottom, there's this hole that looks like it can accommodate mini nail polish lids. So obviously these work great with the Olive and June nail polishes. You just take off that little plastic part to reveal the actual lid of the brush and then you can just slide the poppy right on. You do kind of have to wiggle it back and forth to get it snugly on, but it does go on nicely and they say to just line the ampersands up. I'm a little confused by this because when I line them up and I take the brush out of the bottle, the brush is on sort of crooked, so I'm not sure if I'm just putting the brush back on the nail polish wrong or what I'm doing wrong. But what you can do is put the lid back on, screw it down just so it's a little bit snug, and then just physically move the poppy into a different angle. So now I'm gonna grab a bunch of polishes from my collection and see if the poppy is universal and fits over everything. Right off the bat, I definitely had a little bit of a harder time getting it on the China Glaze bottles. In fact, I couldn't get it down all the way at all, but it was on snug enough to the point where I could unscrew it and use it. I'm not sure if they recommend doing this, but I it could possibly work. Next, we're gonna try it over top of a Zoya cap. And again, it's very hard to like get it started, but especially for Zoya bottles because the shape is tapered. Once I did get it over the biggest part, I was able to wiggle it on and get it all the way down until the full cap was inside. Mostly, I probably could have pushed it in a little bit more, but I felt this was good enough to see that it fits. So Olive and June does say that this will work with pretty much any nail polish that has an overcap, like their brand of polish and also Nails Ink, and it did work for Nails Ink. Or I mean, uh, Nailistic, yeah. So as you can see, this is another nail polish bottle that I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out. I don't know how to like, accurately gauge where to put Poppy when I'm opening it so that the brush is lined up correctly. I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I guess it's kind of just trial and error. So in the video that Olive and June released, you can actually see the Poppy going on over top of an OPI bottle. I couldn't get it on. I did, okay, I did use the shiny lid ones. I forgot what they're called, the infinite shine? Is that right? Yeah, I used the infinite shine lid. That might've made a difference. I definitely couldn't get the poppy on all the way. And I did ask Oliva June and they said, you might have to force it a little bit, but it should go on. But obviously there are some nail polishes that this is just not gonna work on, like a square peg round hole situation here, or a, yeah. This does also work on top of Essie nail polish lids because they have that really narrow cylindrical shape. Um, again, I didn't push it all the way down here, but it does go all the way down. I just didn't. So now let's see if this actually makes a difference. I will be doing both hands with this so we can actually see if it's gonna help actually paint both hands for people that don't have the easiest time doing that. So one thing I did notice right off the bat with using the poppy is that it extended the brush, which was allowing me to like rest my hand on a part of the table that kind of helped me paint it on smoother or easier. Maybe it was just helping me like anchor my hand down better, but the added distance definitely felt like it helped with balance a little bit. It's obviously kind of hard for me to tell if this is actually helping me paint my nails because I've put so many hours into painting my nails. It's kind of easy for me. So I feel like I'm not the best person to give my honest opinion about this because it's, I don't know, I feel like with anything, if you do it long enough, you'll become good at it despite having tools and stuff that help you. It's just practice. So moving on to my other hand is where I was actually able to see if this made a difference because I'm not as good at painting my other hand. And as you can see, I, for some reason, just like bumped the brush 
on my cuticle area. One thing about these Olive and June polishes, they're beautiful polishes, but on some of the bristles, on some of the brush bristles, they were cut really unevenly, so it's kind of hard to get into my nail line and really create that clean shape. I'm not sure if the poppy was also making it a little bit harder or if it was just the brush alone, but I did notice on this hand, it was harder for me to get up close to the cuticle and make that really nice line. Another thing I also noticed is that with this hand, when I was feeling like I was losing stability, I could actually like pinch the poppy a little harder and that like helped me stabilize my motions. And I kind of think that's why it was designed with that like squishy texture. So when you start to get shaky or wobbly, you can just like, you know, increase the pressure on it and then that'll help you stabilize yourself a little more. The added length of the poppy on the brush also helped me get into the like edges of my nail, which can sometimes be hard, especially for me painting like upside down while I'm filming I don't always get all of the areas of my nail and I think the poppy actually helped me do that better while I do think this does help with stability a little bit there also was a learning curve and like I said it was kind of hard to get comfortable enough to use it and get the brush all the way up into the cuticle and not flood that area but I do feel like with practice, this could help people that don't have the best time painting their nails, especially with that added length. I feel like that could actually um, benefit people that have a smaller nail surface. But like I said in the beginning, I feel like if you're really, really bad at painting your nails, you're still gonna be really, really bad even with this tool. It's all about practice. No matter what you're using, you just have to be familiar with your fingernails to be good at it. I know that sounds kind of mean, but I'm just saying practice and you'll get good results. And one more kind of con to this is if you're going to be painting your nails with a top coat after, you'll have to remove this to put it on your top coat if you want to use it for both. And removing it's kind of like, it can be kind of hard. Not on the uh, Olive and June polishes, it's really easy to remove for that. But if you have it on another polish, you might have to tug on it then you could risk smudging a nail. So you either have to buy it more than one or just skip putting it on the top coat or just wait for your nails to be completely dry. So here is the finished manicure using the poppy. I did clean up that one mess up I did on my right hand, but I didn't go around the nail shape at all with the cleanup brush. So you can kind of see it's not the smoothest, but it's on there and uh, it was a little bit easier to apply. A big thank you to Olive and June for sending me this to try out and I hope it's okay that I gave you a completely honest review. I wanna be completely transparent with you guys and want you to know what you're buying before you buy it. If you enjoyed this video, I do have a reviews playlist and you can watch that by just clicking on your screen here. And if you guys have any products you'd like me to review, you can just let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.